हेलो गाइज आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी सैमसंग गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी फोर अल्ट्रा एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थर्टी बेस्ट फीचर्स फॉर नोट टेकिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट the first feature is about dragging image to notes so here you can see i open samsung notes now i want some image from a website to these notes i will take out this edge panel and then i will open this internet browser in split screen so i will drag and drop here now you can see i search some images on google for example i like this image and now i want this image in my notes first of all i will press and hold it like this it will open this menu then i will scroll down and here you see this option of clip subject from background so i will select this option it will select only the image part without these labelings now what i will do i will press and hold it like this and then i can easily drag and drop it to my notes and then if you want you can edit it if you want to label it you can also do the labeling if you want to highlight it you can also do the highlight as well the next thing is same way you can also drag text from a website to your notes so here you can see i open this website and now for example i want this text in my notes so i will start selecting this text so for example i will select it till here now i want this text in my notes i will press and hold it like this and then i can also drag and drop here in my notes and later i can edit it the next feature is about bringing whole website to your notes for example i open this website and now i want this whole website in my notes so i will take out this edge panel and then i will open the samsung notes in split screen now here you can see this option of link and whole page i will select this whole page option and then it will start adding this whole website in my notes so you just have to wait for few seconds and then i will show you the result so here you can see the whole web page is now added to my notes so here you can see the same text is available in my notes the same images are also available now for example if you want to edit you can also edit in your samsung notes so if you want to write something you can write using your s pen if you want to highlight something in this website you can also do the highlighting if you want to add or delete pages you can go for page sorter option so select these three dots here is the page sorter option so it will show you all the pages of this website now if you want to access any page you can directly go from here and then if you want you can also add or delete pages for example i want to delete this page i will select these three dots and here is the delete option so i will select this delete option now if you want to add a new page again what you can do is select these three dots here is the add page option here it will show you different page templates i will select this default page so here you can see a new page has been added now you can select this page and now for example if you want to write something important here you can also write The next feature is about auto format handwritten notes. For example, I open my handwritten notes and now I want to auto format these notes. First of all, I will select this keyboard icon and then from here I will select this notes assist option and then you can use your S Pen to highlight your handwritten notes. Now you can see this menu. The first option is about auto format. So I will select this option and then I will select this option of headers and bullets. So once you select this option, it will start converting your handwritten notes into text and then it will organize it into headings and bullets you just have to wait for a few seconds so here is the final result so here you can see it organized my handwritten notes into this heading and bullets you can go for other formats as well so if i scroll it like this you can see there are other formats also available so you can select any of these formats for example i like this format then i will select this option of add to so once you select this option you can add it to new note or you can add it to new page before for example i select this new page before so format added to my notes so here you can see these are the organized notes and if i scroll down here are my handwritten notes the next feature is about converting your audio lectures into text and summary for example you have a lecture going on and you want to transcribe it first of all open the voice recorder and then from here select this mic to start recording so i will select this mic your nervous system helps control your heart rate it sends signals that tell your heart to beat slower during rest and faster during stress 
the endocrine system sends out hormones these hormones tell your blood vessels to constrict or relax now i will stop it and then i will save it and then i will open this voice recording and here you can see this option of transcribe so i will select this transcribe option and then from here you can select any language for example i select this english language and then i will select transcribe and then it will start analyzing the recording and then it will make a transcript so here you can see here is the final transcript now you can add this transcript to your notes so select these three dots and here is the option of add to samsung notes so you can add it to samsung notes and then from here you can also edit it the next thing is you can also convert this transcript into summary so here is the summary option i will select this summary option and then it will start converting it into the summary and then here you can see it will show me the final results with this title and here is the bullet point now what you can do you can also add this summary to your samsung notes again select these three dots and then from here you can select this option of add to samsung notes so i will select this option of add to samsung notes the summary is now added to my samsung notes here are the keywords and here you can see we have title and different bullet points you can also edit this summary inside samsung notes as well the next thing is you can also translate this transcript and summary open the voice recording here is the transcript now you want to translate it in different language here is the translation option i will select this translation option now you can see it translate this english into german you can select any other language just select this arrow and here you can see we have different languages option for example i select japanese and then i will select this option of translate so here you can see it convert this transcript into japanese same way you can also do it for the summary so for example i will go back from here open the voice recording select summary and now i want to translate the summary as well again i will select this translation option and here you can see it translate this english summary into japanese same way you can also select any other language the next feature is about smart select tool so you can bring any data from other apps using smart select tool first of all take out the edge panel and then from here for example i want to open excel sheet i will open here in split screen now i want to bring this data in my notes i will open the air command and then i will open smart select tool now i will start selecting this data so for example i will select it till here now i want this data in my notes i will press and hold it like this and then i can easily drag and drop here in my notes and later if you want you can edit it one more thing i want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can try this experiment the next feature is about auto format to meeting notes for example i open my notes and here you can see i have a lot of text now i want to organize these notes into headings and bullet points first of all i will select the keyboard icon and then from here i will select the note assist option and then i will start making my selection so i will select it till here now you can see this menu and here you can see the very first option is about auto format i will select this auto format option and here i will select this meeting notes option now it will start organizing my notes into headings and bullet points and then i will show you the final result so here you can see my notes are organized into headings and bullet points and now they are easy to understand you can also go for other formats just scroll like this and here you can see you have another format so you can select whichever format you like and then if i scroll i have other formats also available so here you can see i have more formats available now if you want you can replace them you can add it to existing note or to new note so so i will select this replace option and now here you can see my new organized notes the next feature is about summarizing a website and bring it to your notes for example i open this website and now i want a summary of this website so first of all i will select this option of browsing assist and then i will select this option of summarize it will make a summary of this website you can also go for detailed option select these three lines from here and here is the detail option 
option and then select done and then it will give you a detailed summary of this website now what you can do is you can select this option of copy it will be copied to your clipboard now open your samsung notes and then open the edge panel and then scroll to the clipboard so here is the summary of that website now what you can do you can easily drag and drop it here in your notes so here you have all the summary of that website available in your notes and you can also edit it you also have the link of that website available here the next feature is about changing the writing style of your notes for example i open my notes and now i want to change the writing style of these notes first of all i will select this keyboard icon and then from here i will select this option of writing assist so once you select this writing assist option here is the option of writing style so i will select this option now it will start rewriting this text and then it will show you four to five different formats so here you can see i will make it to full page so this is the professional style and then if you scroll down this is the casual style and then if you scroll down this is the social so here you can see the social style then we have this polite and then if you scroll down you also have this emojify option available now what you can do is whatever style you like you can copy so for example i like this professional style i will just copy it and then i can use it in my notes or what you can do is you can select this option of insert so it will be inserted in your existing notes the next feature is about circle to search image for example you have some image in your notes and you want more data relevant to that image so press and hold this home button and then start circling the image so i will circle this image so I will circle till here. Now it will show me more data relevant to this image. So here you can see and then I can use this data. You can also use this circle to search option for text. For example, I have this text. Now I want more information relevant to this text. So I will press and hold this home button and then I will circle around this text. So for example, I will circle around this text. Now it will show me more information relevant to this text and now I can use this information. The next feature is about adding tags to your notes. For example, I open my notes and now I want to add a tag to this note. So I will select these three dots and here is the tags option. I will select this tags option here it will give me different suggestions so I can use these suggestion or I can create a new tag for example I will use this ventricles tag and then I will save it now I will go back and here you can see I have a lot of notes available now if I want to search my note I can search it by tag so here is the search option and here you can see it is giving me the option of recent tags so if I select this ventricles it will show me the same note here and I can easily access it now let's talk about tools so inside samsung notes we have a lot of tools available for example if you want to use the shape tool you have to scroll like this and here you can see we have this shape tool now you can create any shape and it will make it neat for you for example i want to create this arrow it will make it neat for me the next thing is you can also use the s pen to text tool so whatever you write it will convert it into the text so here is the s pen to text Tool. now whatever I write here with my S Pen it will convert it into the text you can also use other tools for example if you want to use the pen tool so here you can see we have different pen tools and then we also have different thickness different color options also available same thing for the highlighter tool we have four different type of highlighters with different thickness different opacity and different color options available you can also switch between different tools by using the S Pen button for example if I want to erase my handwriting i will press and hold this s pen button and now i can easily erase my handwriting you can also use the keyboard option and here we have all necessary phone tools available the next feature is about categorization so you can categorize your notes in folders and subfolders first of all open this navigation drawer and here you can see i have different folders so here you can see i create my folders according to my semesters and then inside these folders 
folders i create subfolders and inside those subfolders you can create different notes so if you want to create a new folder just select this option of manage folder and then select this option of create folder you can give it any name give it any color from here then select add now if you want to create a subfolder select this folder and here you can see this option of create subfolder and then you can give it any name and then you can add it and inside this subfolder you can create a new note the next feature is about backup your notes so you can backup your notes across different samsung devices first of all open this navigation draw and here you see the settings icon you can select the settings icon and here you see the very first option is about sync with samsung cloud so you can enable this option then you can enter your samsung account and then you can sync your samsung notes across different samsung devices the next feature is about summarize notes for example i open my notes and now i want to summarize these notes first of all i will select this keyboard icon and then from here i will select this notes assist option once you select this notes assist option it will open a menu and here you can see the second option is about summarize so i will select this summarize option now first of all it will convert these handwritten notes into text and then it will summarize it you can also go for d detailed option as well so if you select these three lines and here you can select we have this detailed option so i will select this detail and then i will press done now it will summarize in detailed format so you just have to wait for a few seconds so here is the detailed version of these notes now what you can do is you can copy it or you can add it to new note so here is the add to option and then here is the new note option so i will add it to new note and then i can use it the next feature is about collaboration so you can invite other people and they will also participate in your note taking select these three dots and here is the option of invite collaborators so once you select this option it will give you two different option you can select choose contacts or you can select share link i will select this share link option it will start creating a link and then you can use that link across different platforms so here you can see the link is now created you can copy it from here and then you can send it to your friends or your colleagues or you can use other platforms the next feature is about page template so you can go for different page templates select these three dots here is the page template option you can select any page templates from here or you can also go for this pdfs option here we have different digital planners you can use monthly planner daily planner weekly planner and then if you want you can also change the page color as well select these three dots from here here you can see this option of page setting so you can select any page color from here for example if you want the dark color if you want orange yellow whatever color you want you can select it from here you can also change the scrolling direction of your page so currently it is set to vertical you can also change it to horizontal you can also add your notes as a widget on your home screen for example i want to add these notes to my home screen so i will select these three dots here is the option of add to i will select this option and here you can see this option of home screen so once you select this home screen option here you can select this add option now this note is added to my home screen now if i go back to home screen here you can see my note is available here you can also extend it so for example i want to make it uh, till this size i can make it like this so here you can see i can easily access my notes through my home screen you can also add cover to your notes for example i open my notes now i want to add cover to these notes select these three dots and here you can see this option of edit cover so i will select this option first of all you have to turn it on from here and then from here you can select any sticker so for example i select this sticker from here you can select any color for the cover and then from here you can select any style for example i like this style so once you finish you can just go back and the cover will be added to your note so here you can see here is the new cover for my notes the next feature is about scanning a document and insert it to your notes i will open the notes here is the plus icon and then i will select this scan option it will turn on the camera and now i will start scanning uh, this document so i will scan like this and then i will press this button from here and then i will select this option of done 
okay and then i will save it so once you select the save option it will be saved to your notes and later you can use it the next feature is about PDF annotations. So you can annotate your PDF files in Samsung notes. So here is the PDF plus icon. You can select your PDF file. For example, I select this PDF file, then I select done. So here is my PDF file. I can use all different tools. For example, if I want to write, I can write here. If you want to highlight something important in your PDF file, you can also do the highlighting. You can also use the shape tool if you want to create shapes. And then if you want, you can also use the S Pen to text tool. You can also write on your PDF file using the keyboard option. The next feature is about searching your handwritten notes. So open the Samsung notes, select this search icon. And then from here, you can use your S Pen to search for your handwritten notes. For example, I want to search my handwritten note about Snapdragon, so I will write it here. So here you can see it is showing me the result. I will open it and here you can see I can easily search my handwritten notes. The next feature is about lock your notes. For example, I want to lock this note. I will press and hold it like this. And here you can see this option of lock. Once you select this option, it will ask you for a password. You can set a password for this note. The next feature is about taking notes on apps. For example, I open Zoom app. I will start a new meeting. Now I want to take notes. First of all, I will press this S Pen button and then I will tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung Notes and here I will start taking my notes. Now if you want to see the video behind, you can change the opacity of this note taking app. Select this blue icon, select this opacity and then from here you can reduce the opacity of this note taking app. Now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes. The next feature is about checking spellings and grammar for your notes. For example, I open my notes and now I want to check the spellings and grammar for these notes. First of all, I will select this keyboard icon and then from here I will select this option of writing assist. So once you select it, here you can see this option of spelling and grammar. You can select this option and then it will start checking your text and then it will give you suggestion. So here you can see, here are the final suggestion. You can see now it is underlined. So now you can copy it or you can insert it to existing notes. The next feature is about translating your notes. So you can translate your notes in different languages. First of all, select this keyboard icon. Then from here, you can select this option of notes assist. Then what you can do is you can select the text. So for example, I will select till here. Now you can see this menu and here you can see the last option is about translate. So I will select this translate option. Then it will translate it to whatever language you select. For example, I select Japanese, but you can can change the language. For example, I select it to French and then I will select this translate option. Now it will translate it into the French. So here is the French version of my notes. Now if you want, you can replace it, you can copy it or you can add it to new page or new note. You can also translate your handwritten notes as well. The next feature is about exporting your notes. So you can export your notes in six different formats. Select these three dots and then here is the option of save as file. So you can select this option. So you can save your notes as notes file, PDF file, Word file, PowerPoint file, image file or text file. You can also use the share option as well. Select these three dots again and then if you scroll down here you can see this share icon. So if you select this share icon again it will ask you which format you want. So you can select any of these formats to share. So guys this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.